Intersolar Europe continues to be a location where new manufacturing technologies are showcased by equipment manufacturers, particularly from here in Europe. One of the new technologies that has been on display for a number of years but um, has been rather slow for implementation in production has been smart wire technology from Switzerland's Maya Borga. But now, in fact, there's a 100 megawatt line that is up and running in Poland. The company is Han Palast, and I'm joined by uh, board director Jaroslav Michek, who um, made the decision to go smart wire a number of years ago, and now the line has been up and running since the end of 2016. Firstly, why did you get into PV manufacturing? Several reasons behind that decision. Uh, first one is that uh, we are producer of the articles uh, uh, on a massive scale with high uh, um, level of automation and we were also looking for some innovative products to diversify our production. Uh, we believe that solar energy is the future and uh, uh, looking uh, for last analysis of LCOE uh, which showing uh, that increasing competitiveness of that energy uh, that was behind the decision that okay it's good reason to implement it well in establishing your new line you did decide for smart wire technology exactly. um, what was behind that decision we cannot start uh, our activity on photovoltaic business with the old technology we always were looking some for some innovative solution and uh, after meeting and knowing that uh, Mayor Burger wants to implement and they are ready for implementing new technology, we have seen our future that maybe we have chance to competitive in new premium products with can be different to the existing one. Marius Potocki, I want to bring you in on the conversation. I'm sorry about my terrible Polish pronunciation. You've been um, involved in implementing the smart wire technology. Can you tell me about how has that process gone? Yeah, this is uh, absolutely a different process than the standard bus bar technology. It's, uh, it needs much more, uh, you know, uh, it's absolutely a requirement project. It's, uh, it means that uh, if we consider the, the new LCOE standard as a new benchmarking standard in the PV business, we need to be sure that this technology let us to avoid many, many of problems in the future. If you are the investor and you think of your safety of business, you need to be absolutely uh, sure that this, this technology let you avoid many of problems like micro cracks, hotspots, and uh, this is uh, this is and what is the mo much more important in my opinion, it's. Uh, that this technology is uh, absolutely ready for using for the new standard of solar cells and the new standard of wafers is much more important. Absolutely, it's uh, the cells today are thinner and thinner. If you want to be follow for this standard, you need to follow with the absolutely new innovative solutions. Michael Escher is the chief commercial officer at Maya Burger. Um, Michael, with Hans Plus now 100 megawatts of capacity for SmartWire going in, um, up and running the product, getting out into the market, what's the significance for that of that for Maya Burger and also for SmartWire? Well, obviously, as an innovative company, driving new technologies in the market is a huge challenge. You know, getting adoption going, getting new customers convinced on driving and taking the risk with you as being the first one adapting the technology um, is certainly a challenge we, we, we are facing as a company driving innovation. With Hamplus, we found somebody, you know, we started two years ago, we started implementing and, and putting the, the tool into running um, early next, last year and they're now into manufacturing and since this kind of step and the announcement and the strong cooperation with Hamplast we now have another 400 megawatt already delivered into the market which is therefore a good stepping stone for us to be successful. Well and SmartWire itself is a little bit of a disruptive technology, it's not so much evolution, it's a little bit more in the direction of revolution. Right. Um, what? What do you think that kind of represents that we're now seeing the adoption of these type of technologies in the market? Well, if you look a little bit back in history, you know, we, we have been at, you know, smaller inch cells, we went from five inch, we went to six inch, you know, we went to two bus bar, three bus bar, now it's getting higher and higher with the efficiency of cells going up. 
we go to four bus bar, five bus bar, there's some kind of a limit on this whole bus bar story. And also with this, the higher the efficiency of the cell, the more you know, power you want to extract also from the cells. And therefore a multi-wire solution is the next logical step. So the advantage on silver cost savings, because you need only about 80 milligrams silver per cell instead of close to 300, and then being able to extract the full power and potential from the cell is certainly what I believe the next step where it all is going to move in the market. And what about the supply chain? Um, the Hans Plus uh, gentleman did mention that it, it has been a challenge for a new technology. It's not as established as bus bar technology. How, how will this be overcome? This is certainly something, you know, we, our core expertise is it de developing tools, bringing tools into market and with disruptive technologies, also with this establishing a sustainable supply chain is a huge challenge, which to be honest, you know, you mentioned at the beginning the adoption was a little bit slow. That's probably one of the elements where I believe also we underestimated a little bit the importance of establishing of every core part, at least two supplier to give choice to our customers. Now we did certified suppliers, we certified different cell suppliers, TPO suppliers, wire suppliers. Now we're getting the traction, thanks also to cooperation with Humplast, where now it starts rolling. It's like the flywheel now starts really getting traction. Well, multi-bus bar technology has been um, at many places around the show floor here at Intersolar 2017. Maya Berger with their first, world's first um, installation at scale of the smart wire technology, a significant moment in the industry. My name's Jonathan Gifford, the editor-in-chief of PV Magazine Global.